All right, everybody, welcome to another edition of Bitcoin Billionaire. So uh, very important today because a big move is coming for Bitcoin. First, before I tell you about this big move, make sure that you press like on this video. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can learn how to make money in crypto. All right, guys, we can see a lot right now is getting clearer and clearer what's going to happen as we have been uh, descending here and uh, some resistance, as we can see all over the place here. Uh, so it's very clear where the resistance is. And uh, we can see now that we, we did break it one time, but it didn't make it all the way. Uh, so now, in fact, it's very clear that we have many, many touch points. And um, so a big move is coming and we don't know which one. We don't know if it's gonna go up and break through. Although I will show you some logical reason why that may happen. And one of them is the RSI. Okay, so we have a, a bullish divergence here. Uh, as we can see that uh, we are in a downtrend, but uh, the uh, RSI is in an up, uptrend rather. And so it's very possible that um, we just break, break up and not down. Now it's possible we break down before we break up, but it's very clear to me that it is RSI is telling us that we are about to go up. Even though we've not really seen anything significant here, uh, we've more seen a downtrend. Uh, but I wouldn't rely on that 100%. But usually a uh, divergence is very important in, in trading crypto. It's uh, let you know what's coming ahead of time, right? It's like an indicator. Um, but so if we break up, where are we going to go? And if we break down, where are we going to go? Well, I think personally, if I'm going to break, right, I, w I would say the target is probably here. Okay. Um, but it doesn't mean that we are going to go back down. In other words, potentially, we are going back all the way to the top, in my opinion. And if we break through, and that would be a 68% gain. So that would be very good. So I'm going to play this one a little bit different than in the past. I'm actually going to buy and hold it, okay? It's so going to buy it. If it breaks, I'm going to buy and hold. If um, I would prefer to go back down at least to that red line, then buy it and just hold it. Now, um, it is important we mention that... Uh, if we break the ribbon, now if you don't know what the ribbon is, I will show you. Um, EMA ribbon. It's a common way to look at different time to see if we are bullish or bearish, right? And so if we go to one day, uh, we can see that we are very bearish. We've been under this ribbon for a while. So that's not too good because it means very bearish, right? So, um, also, not to be a bearer of bad news, but we've also been below on the one week, unfortunately, as we can see here. What does that mean? Well, it means very important that we bounce from here on. Otherwise, it could be a sustained, a sustained um, bearish, bear market rather. We could potentially go all the way down here if this continues. Now, I don't think I don't think that's going to happen personally, but we never know. And, uh, you know, 20,000 is still in the cards, even though I didn't put that there. But uh, I would say there's a lot of support here in the thirty thousand dollar range. Uh, but as I told you guys before, I'm going all in. I'm not going to wait because once Bitcoin bounces, it's going to go like crazy. So, you know, I want to be in the game. So I'm just letting you know the ribbon. Letting us know that, um, at least in long term, it looks very bearish. Four hour looks bearish. All the time zones are looking bearish, basically. Okay. So even down to the one hour, everything looks bearish now. But uh, I wouldn't take that as the only thing, as I told you before. For me, I want to look at where's the support. And uh, again, I would say there's very strong support right here. So it's very possible we bounce and then break through. So let's hope that my plan works, no guarantee. But anyway, nobody knows for sure. And a lot of times we need to basically look at both scenarios. Uh, what happens if we go down or what happens if we go up and you have a plan A and plan B. 
So my plan A is I'm planning that this is going to go down. If not plan B, then I buy the breakout. And uh, well, sometimes there's fake outs. I don't like doing that. I usually like buying more here, right? At these levels and then selling high right here. But in this case, I'm not playing the short game. I'm going to play the long game. So anyway, that's my opinion about Bitcoin. Let's look at Metagold and let's look at Casta. Okay, so some of the things I've been reviewing on this uh, channel. All right, we are looking at, Ca at uh, Metagold rather. So Metagold uh, has a pretty strong support here as we can see and they just hit support. One, two, three support, right, that they have. So confirming the support. And uh, I think what we will see is probably going to see a, some kind of a bounce here uh, from this place. And they're already here now. So probably going to go up. And at some point, I don't know when, they're probably going to hit back that support. It's just a very important support here, as we can see. But they are in a consistent uptrend, which is good. So right now is a good time to buy Metagold. And uh, again, if they just go from here to the all-time high, that would be approximately 70%, 73%. And they've not uh, listed in CoinGecko and they're, they're going strong on the marketing. So I would say very good investment even now for 73% gain. They will be going back to the all-time high. These guys are in a consistent uptrend. So good investment for Metagold. All right, let's look at uh, Casta. Okay, so uh, let's look at Casta now. Casta is, let's see, Casta, well, how's Casta doing? Again, you know, struggling to pass the $1, which is not surprising, okay? If, um, for those of you who I coach, I have a group that I coach, and we plan to make that available for all the holders of Metagold, but for now, let me kind of give you a hands kind of tr trading uh, techniques here on how to make money with Casta because, yeah, I mean, Casta, I think I could delete this kind of, okay. So Casta was in a, a uptrend as well, it's going here, but they recently broke down, so that's not good. Uh, what is Casta doing? I don't know, but they seem to be struggling to stay in the uptrend. Right now, they should have not broke that support, but they did. That's not good for Casta. It's not the end of the world, but I, I would say it's not very good for them because uh, if they broke down, they, they need to make it up again, right? So um, now, I if you did trade, I did recommend buying it at the support and then selling it at $1 plus. So that would have been a 61% gain. And since the local top into where we are now, minus 16%, so uh, are they going to, the question in everybody's mind maybe is, is are they going to, you know, <laughs> are they going to be able to change their, their like direction? Is there some level of like support? And the answer is yes, of course there is, but it's probably right about here, right? Uh, I'm not saying there's no other support level, but uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, you could count this as support. So those are the levels of support that I, I see and they broke one. So yeah, probably the next support, if I'm going to put an order, would be $0.82. Cents. And so then we would start anyway. So even though they broke this support, right, that's okay. So let's take that out for now. So now we're building different levels of support at the bottom here, which is a good thing to do. And uh, so obviously we have multiple levels of like support. My, I think what we might see with Casta is we will see a higher low. So let's say it goes here, right? So it goes here, then it will bounce, and then we're gonna see a higher high, and we have to beat the one the one dollar. Now they have not been listed on Binance or Coinbase or all the major listings, so I think when they do that, they will definitely go to two or three dollars. So, hey, if they were just gonna to go to three dollars, let's say that's pretty good from where they are now. Um, I don't, there's no guarantee, but it would be like two hundred thirty-one percent, two hundred thirty percent. That's not bad for them. Uh, there's no guarantee because, you know, they're, they're already quite high market cap and they haven't launched the app yet, but they are making progress with the app. So when they launch the app, for sure, it's going to go up. So what I'd like to see for Casta is a bounce right, right here. Okay, that's where we want to see the bounce at is 0 0.82 cents. All right, guys, that's all what I got for you today. If you like the content, make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.